And thank you for staying with us. Now, beggars in Lagos State have besieged, have besieged the entrance of the office of the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Shaolu, to clamor against the harassment and arrest they supposedly face at the hands of state officials. The beggars who came in over 10 buses and seven tricycles barricaded the entrance to the assembly and demanded that Governor Babajide Saonlu addresses them. They also asked that the persecution of people with disability be stopped and that they be empowered. Joining me still to discuss this in the studio with legal practitioner Tunji Abdulhamid. Thank you, Tunji, for staying with us. Thank you. And political analyst Ugochuku Ikako. Thank you for staying with us, Ugochuku. Thank you for now, having us, man. How do we begin to react to this similarly ugly situation? It's, it's an ugly trend. What's your reaction to this? Well, I think uh, it, shows, it shows the kind of administration that we have in Lagos. Uh, the, uh, the Lagos State uh, government under Jide uh, Sanwolu is not people oriented, it is not there for the people. Is there for a particular man and for a particular sort of elite, in where their basically their interest is to extract from the street state, to extract from the people in Lagosians, to make life difficult for them. Uh, you have people that majority of people that were in this protest uh, were fiscally challenged people that raised money among themselves. We able to get fiscally challenged people, disabled people, disabled people that raised money and were able to you know get keke uh, to, to to do business, not to, not to beg, not to constitute nuisance in society. And you're making a policy. You didn't ask after the aftermath of the policy. You didn't think about the people. You didn't think about themselves. You just you just made an outright law. It looks like we're in a dictatorship. Right, masquerading as democracy or masquerading as the civilian led administration. So it does not make sense. What what was seen what was seen is, is people reacting that this thing does not help us. This 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 does not help us. It does not it does not all go well with the people of Lagos State. And most importantly, if this is an admission that listing, if this is an admission that is pro people, right, what would have happened is that over the last few weeks they would have recalled themselves on this on this and said we made a wrong decision, all right? And I apologize to the people of Lagos State, but we're not having that. All right? So it shows that Babajide Sanwolu is not there for the people of Lagos. He's there for his belly and for his godfather. Tunji, what do you say to that? I, I think the issue is not only about uh, the banning of KK or whatever uh, was banned that was restricted. I can, let me use their language. Yes. Uh, I think they also complain about the fact that uh, the, the, the people with disability have been uh, arrested and uh, embarrassed, humiliated, persecuted, or arrest, yes. persecuted and for, for, for the, or the ground that they are, they are constituting nuisance. Yeah, I'm aware of a uh, provision of the law, that Lagos State law. That is uh, Section 168 of the Lagos, uh, criminal, uh, criminal law of Lagos State, which prohibits a uh, person with disability using that disability to contribute nuisance by way of begging or other means yes. in the country. It's an offense. I know that. I'm not, I'm not sure whether that's what they are trying to enforce when they are being, when they are being picked, but I, I'm aware they protest. Because, because I remember doing. Um, um Fasha last Fashola. time, there, there was such, there, it was yeah, there was such law in, yeah, in, in, in enforcement, yes. It's, it's called criminal law of Lagos. State. Yes. It was in 2015, and the section that, that relates to this is section 168 of the law. So if you look at that, that section 168, it prohibits any uh, arms, uh, form of a uh, person using his disability to create a nuisance in the community. So if you create nuisance with your disability, you can be arrested for that. But I'm not sure whether this is what they have been arrested for. I'm not sure whether the, the, you know, you know, and you know sometimes when the law is made, those who are given the power to enforce the law, they, they are two of us serious sometimes. They do things, once they see you, without, with a, whether you are a beggar, you are not even a beggar, you are disabled, and you are somewhere where that they think it's not, uh, not necessary, they will pick you up and say you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are begging or you are doing this and that. that, that I think that's what they are trying to, to, to say. That, look, they are just picking our people randomly without any cause. And then we are, we are trying to make money for ourselves. We have made money for ourselves. We have tried to empower ourselves by buying a... Uh, what's it called? Keke. Yeah. And now the keke has been, has been banned. What do we do? There's no other thing. The government should provide job for us. If the government doesn't want to, 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 to become a, a nuisance. Which is what the protest majorly was about yeah, that yesterday. If they, don't, they don't want us to become a nuisance and get, get us job. Put us where, uh, give, uh, give us an able environment to be able to achieve our, 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 our dreams. That's, I think that's what, that was what the protest was all about. Okay, now, Ugochuku, now you. you you heard what he said. If, if indeed you said some of these were disabled people, uh, if, if indeed most of these disabled people use their situation to constitute themselves nuisance on the street, which is, we see most of this on the time, the, most of the mad beggars are disabled in some way, you know, don't you think the Lagos State government has the right to, to take these people off the street and, and do what it needs to do to make Lagos sane the way they want it to be? Yeah, Lagos, Lagos State has the right to, to be a state for all. All right, we can't claim to be a mega city where we don't have, we don't look after the, the, the affairs of the disabled. Should we have them on our streets begging? No, no it, because we don't have a proper place to house them. Okay. Do we have a proper place to house them? Do we have social welfare for them? 
is, is our road built with them in mind? Or is it easy for the gov governor or for whoever that manages his PR to come and say something that doesn't make sense, right? We're well, not in the 18th century, we're in the 21st century, 2020, right? Is this how cities across the world, is it how they're building sustainable cities? Is it how they're building the city of the tomorrow? So, for example, let's say from, from the Lake Ebe Expressway, from Lake to, to, to Aja, have you been able to construct roads in a way that these people can even have a way to move around, to go, get into a place that they can get a job and, and to get it? Have you made it easy? Have you passed laws that can help them they don't get discriminated? So these are the things that government's supposed to do to help them because already, already because of the virtue of, 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 of who they are, of, yeah. of how they are, they've been disadvantaged in a way. So what are you doing? All right? And some of them are taking it upon themselves and okay, say, this is what we're doing. So what government should be doing is to work with them to find a way to make life better for them, not by placing a law that makes it more difficult for them to not to feed their family, not to take care of themselves, and you're bringing them back to the place where they constitute nuisance. All right? So at the end of the day, for me, it's not about taking them out of the road. What was the intent? What is the end goal? Or you have you have a people that needs help. Your government is not helping them. You're making life difficult for them. I mean, a lot of them cannot move around because there's no way. There's, there, it, it's difficult for them to move from point A to point but B. But we see them on our streets. We go to begging. We see them every every now and then, every day and night. They're on our streets, on the road, begging, begging for be because, arms. Because you have. Now, a, let's, let's begin to address the the spate of. The, begging, the beggars we have on our street. What can be done to address and arrest this ugly trend? Because you and I know at the end of the day, these people could identify serve as mercenaries in the hands of ill with people who want to cause mayhem in, in, in the country if we don't address what the issue is right now. So should we allow this begging go on because someone feels in some certain way he's, he's disabled? For me, for every society, the begging you're seeing is not a reflection of the fact that they want to beg. It's a reflection of the fact that you have government that has created policies that make life difficult for them. Okay. All right? And they have every right as citizens of this country to do whatever they have to do as far as it is not against Including the, begging. As far as it's not against the law. They're not, they're, does it, does yeah, that doesn't constitute yes. nuisance. No, it, it doesn't constitute it doesn't constitute nuisance in any way. Right? It, by, it, by 168 of it, the by it, section 168 it, of it the criminal, criminal law it, of the state, yeah. it's, 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 it's an offense to beg. So it, 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 it is an offense. It, it does for me. It does okay. not because at the, at the end of the day, you're making policies that make life difficult for people. All right? What is legal? So, so it's, it's a failure of a system. It, it, That's it, what you're saying. It is a failure of the system. What, what, what does legal state now need to do? It, it, it is a failure. If it is a failure of the system. Yes. Is, is, this, is this for someone to say that go to the court? You're the same person that stayed here as a lawyer and admitted in front of national television that it is easy to get the rule of law does not work yeah. in this country. So if you're saying that, 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 you, that some people are beyond prosecution. So some people are beyond prosecution. No, no, I'm not supporting the fact that no, if you admit that as a lawyer. Yeah. So you know how difficult it is for someone that does not even have the 5,000 million in his account? I, I am not supporting the fact that they have been intimidated, they have been harassed or whatever. So that is I am easy. saying that, look, I'm just, I'm just trying to correct an impression that it's not an offence. I'm not, I'm not saying by law. So for me, uh, so it's, whether, whether, I, I said for that me, law, is, is a, a non-issue. Is 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 non I don't have an issue with it. Whether right? that because, law is good, because you good, have, it's a different issue. I have, I have no issue with it. Okay. If the state feels that it, it is an issue against the state, right? personally, I have, I have no issue with it. Let the state prosecute them. All right? But we're talking about the, the cross of this argument is not about they are saying. That is what they said yes. in the press that we read today. They said that we are working. All right? It's, it's easy for the Lagos State government to turn around and say these people are beggars. You are calling them beggars. These people did not identify as beggars when they went for that protest yesterday. And I'm not going to take that. Now, Twin, do, do you think this is a case of, you know, to kill the dog, you got to give it a bad name first? Yeah, I, I think I see it as a, as a, as a case of a failure of government. And then they we're having this issue conf conversation because the government has failed to do its responsibility. They failed to provide an enabling environment. Even those who are not uh, uh, disabled, they are also begging. People are there, there, there are, we have so many corporate beggars. We have so many people who are, who are, who are doing, that's the truth. So I, I'm not in support of a- uh, Organized, organized begging, I, uh, I hear exactly. that's what it's called. So I'm, I'm not in support of a uh, government intimidating or harassing those who are, who are disabled and uh, trying to make uh, end, ends meet by, to survive. I'm just trying to correct an impression that by legal state law, it's an offense. So whether that law is right or is, is, not, is, is wrong, I, I, I don't, I'm not addressing that, that, okay. that one now. I'm just trying to bring it up to the, to the public that there's a law which criminalizes, uh, what's it called, uh, begging okay. in Lagos. Now, now, let's take a look uh, at Like I said, yes. it's a failure of government. It's a, it's a, it's a failure of irresponsibility. We're of, going to uh, come to what the government needs to do, especially the Lagos State government needs to do at this point in time. On Tuesday, the Kano State Governor, Ganduje, uh, made an announcement of ban on street begging and said all beggars, al Majuri, should go back to school. And any of them caught on the street will be arrested and also their parents and guardians. Go step in the right direction. And you think that the Lagos State government should emulate this? He's joking. 
<laughs> Ganduja is joking. He's a joker. And that is the only way to express it. Right? I've lived in the north and I've been, I've been across in the north. Some of have lived there, right? There's no way you can address issue like a marriage, issue, marriage, issue, yeah. marriage issue by waking up in the night and giving an executive decision and outlawing it. No. We have a societal issue. You have, you have, a, you have, a, you have a problem that is, is as old as the fabric of the society where you govern, all right? We used to have a president in this country that built a majority schools across the country. Today, that place, it does not, how many of them still exist today? All right, so if you can tackle an issue from the root, that is why we have problems as, as a country. You wake up and you build, you build around that board that is, as, that is big as a football field. Two, two years later, you are you're, 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 you're taking it away. You did not make a projection that in the next 10 years, you have more than 10 million people that will live here. So you, you, didn't, think any, you didn't think towards building a railway or a, a waterway that makes it easy. So all the government policy has always been reactive. Why, but why they, 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 all they do every day is to loot money and amass wealth and doesn't care about the people. So for me, I will not be the kind of analyst that will stay here and, 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 and follow a government that all I know that is all about themselves, all right? What are you doing? Okay, what are the root causes? Of, why, why do we have an emergency issue in the North? Right? Why is it that children? Okay, there are part where the argument is said that people are making it, they exploit them. Find those people, deal with them. But a lot of them can't access anything, even education. So when Ganduja makes laws like that, it shows that he is in the same class of Sawalu. They are clueless and they don't understand one thing about governance. But, but at least he's saying they should go to school and he provided a, a basic education scheme for them oh, to be a part of. Is, is it that, isn't that a solution? Going to Somewhat. Is it going to yes, be responsible for their, for, their, for their schooling? Yes. Has he made a free education available yes, for them? Yes, for, for, for their majority uh, to go back uh, to school. Uh, their okay. parents and whatever they are, where they are going to be staying in their accommodation, has he been, has he, has he been made available does for them? Does, 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 does the student go to that kind of school? No, but these are underprivileged children. And so I'm just saying, how do we begin to ask, take government responsible to reduce the spate of begging we have on our street. There are beggars on our street. We can't even run away from that fact. So what are the solutions? See, the same way we can't run away from yeah. insecurity in this country yes. because we have a government that has failed to address insecurity issues. Right, we can pray in, in the name of... And, and you don't think Gandhi did the right thing by providing free education for these um, for for beggars and the Maldives, at least for them to be in school? Gandhi, yeah. all right, if you want to take people that have been, in, been out of school for years, for years, there, there are ways, there, there are sustainable ways you can do that to get them back into the system. You don't wake up anyone and make an art, you, you just, just, just put out a law that, 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 is, that is ill thought, right? A majority issue, street begging issue in the North is as old as Northern Nigeria. Right, so so it does not make sense, all right? So we can clap for him and he can use that and go and do for, go, go for ben, a TED talk. Ben, 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 but it does aware? not fix yeah. the issue itself. Okay. Yes, ben, ben, are you today. aware that uh, most of these people are, street, are, are on the streets? If they are being forced to go to school now, after coming back from school, where would they stay? Have, have, have the government thought about providing accommodation? And who and even say that it's, a, it's, it's compulsory that everybody must go to, uh, to acquire, the, what's it called, uh, the, uh, confessional education? Can they do vocational uh, training? Can they do other things? Must it, must, it, must it go to... to uh, now, let's look at the proposal. It goes beyond, it goes, it goes, it goes beyond, start, it goes beyond in place. forcing yes. them to go to school. Okay. The government should provide a neighboring environment. They should make the, 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 everything work. To people, they, should, they should provide facility for people to enjoy and to, 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 be, to be able to a, achieve your dream. When you, when, when you see people achieving their, their dream by doing those things, you also be encouraged to say, look, I want to be this. I want to go this way. Go, then go when people who even went to that yes. school, after several years, they are there looking for jobs. Now, Tony, I'm going to put well, you on, we, let, let, me, let me put you on the spot a little bit because Gochuku has had his opinion about the Lagos State Governor. Do, do you think Babajide Shaun Lu's administration it, is, is a people-oriented and friendly administration, given a few things that have, that have unfolded itself in, in the last couple of weeks and, and, and months? Uh, it's a misreaction in that regard because okay. uh, they've done things that are, are people oriented and uh, they've, done, they've done things that are, to me, that the banning or restriction of uh, Maru and Okada, yes. as far as I'm concerned, is anti masses. Takwa Bay is anti masses. As, as far as I'm concerned. So, there's a and, I, and, and, and I believe they have their plan. Probably somebody is bringing in another alternative that, 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 that which he believe. The, those existence of those Maru and Okada, whatever, will affect that business. Yeah, and but people, to, people have argued that those, our, those alternatives should have come into being before totally and taking is, this guy off the And that is what I'm saying. That, 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 if, if, if he's a yeah. thinking government, if, if he's a thinking governor or a people-related governor, he would have done all those things. He would have put out the palliative measures that are across the whole state. You don't do that, right? People leave their house as early as 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and they don't get to the office till 8, 9, 9 a.m. And how are they going to function? How are they going to be productive? I'm also aware that uh, the, the government has also uh, listened to the people, and it's also all that, that, that first, uh, last month should not be arresting people again. I see that one too as a, as a plus for, for, for the administration. Uh, we say not to be arrested every game. What, 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 if they do, what if they do wrong? What if they last month, what if they your, go your, against traffic? Their job is to control traffic. traffic. To, to yes. direct you and say, and show that, look, they don't do, if you want to commit, uh, if you want to break traffic rule or whatever, they guide you and say, look, go this way, don't go that way. 
They, they, will, they will wait for you to see, to, to ensure that you, you, you fall into the trap. Okay. And then they will come after you. And then correct you and say, look, this, this one will go back. They want to force you, to, they want you to enter that place and then come after you. In that situation, they, they, what they need to do is just take, take, take you back. Go back to where you're coming from. And this is how to go about it. So that is it. That is it. So on, you know, like I said, our system in Nigeria generally has gone wrong. And then they think nothing, as I'm concerned, I'm not, I've not seen anything that is working in this country now for now. Okay, in just 30 seconds, each gentleman, what is pertinent for the Lagos State government at this point in time? Given, given this protest yesterday, and we know that there, there are a whole lot of myriad of issues facing Lagos, citizens are still yet to come to terms on how to commute to their various destinations due to the ban of Okada and Keke in February 1. And now um, we have the Association of Disabled People, or beggars like they were, they were termed. Um, locking the gates of Alausa yesterday, what is pertinent for the Lagos State government the right now? The, the Lagos State governor does not listen. All right. First of all, you need to listen to the people that, 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 that you are leading. All right. You didn't get here, not after uh, uh, covering Lagos with your faces all the time, all right, with your hands pl placed in the air like you're you, you, you holding a gun. And you're not listening to the people. All right. It does not make sense. All right. uh, People are finding it got to go to job. The KK is needed, all right? If, even, if, even, if to, even if you want to face out the Okada, the Okadas that, that, that was regulated, the OP, the ORAD, and the rest of them, you can still bring them, all right? Those are the ones that you can track, all right? There's a way to track, track all these things. Technology has made, made a lot of things easy, all right? So that is where to start, and that is where to listen to the people, know what the people are passing through, and start thinking towards that. Not do things because uh, your godfather in body is asking you to do something, or you're doing it because you want to please the party members, or because, like he said, you're making way for someone to bring in another, another set of vehicles. All right, Tunji, quickly, in 30 seconds, your thoughts, please. Yeah, I, I think uh, the, the government should look inward, think outside the bus, do things that will, that, will, that, will uh, that will not affect the masses negatively. You know, like, like the, in other words, I, I am of the opinion that, look, rather than a restrict or ban the, the Marowas, they should look at a way of trying to enforce the rule already on ground to ensure that they comply with the necessary rules. Because these, these small buses that, that, that is coming now, there will be wars and Marwa after all. Sunjay Abdulhamid, legal practitioner, thank you very much for being thank part of the show this evening. And also Ugo Chuku, a call right, political you, analyst. Thank, thank you very much for your contribution. And thank you for staying with us. We'll take our plus reports now. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Do stay with us. The Nigerian Senate has said it will consider the report of its ad hoc committee on security with a view to finding a lasting solution to current security challenges in the country. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, while reacting to a motion raised by Senator Aishatou Ahmed from Adamawa State, said the Senate will engage with the House of Representatives and with the executive arm of government to find quick and lasting solutions to current security challenges in the country. On the 21st February 2020, an insurgent group attacked the good people of Garkida, a peaceful town in Gombe local government area of Adama Central Senatorial District. The insurgents in over seven gun trucks and many motorcycles attacked the town at about 7 p.m., setting many buildings ablaze. An act aimed at destroying the foundation of peaceful coexistence among Garkida community and Adama state as a whole. As a result of this, the urgent need to take more drastic actions in the face of such affront on the national security architecture, the, religion, the region and indeed the entire nation is long overdue. It will require that we work with the House of Representatives and the Executive as well as citizens because uh, I believe that citizens need to be taken into confidence in, in the fight against insecurity. So we, we will not uh, uh, waste any time as soon as we, the, the report is ready. I believe by next week, probably the report will be ready. We are going to look at the report of the ad hoc committee and take those uh, important and very valuable resolutions and, of course, engage with the executive arm of government. But I believe that we are on the same page with the executive arm of government. Everybody is worried, and we are going to do whatever it takes. A bill to provide immunity for presiding officers against possible blackmail and prying eyes of witch hunters? Or is it against possible prosecution for crimes committed? Now, whatever purpose it serves, wouldn't this be equivalent to actually ripping up the Constitution and assaulting the rule of law? 
I think this will be a huge setback for the rule of law as the same powerful and privileged leaders of parliament that regularly make laws that imprison the ordinary Nigerian for even trivial offenses want to establish elite immunity to protect themselves from any consequence of serious crimes of corruption and money laundering. The message here seems to be that in Nigeria, powerful influential actors must not be and are not subject to the rule of law. I believe it's simply not proper for lawmakers to be the chief advocates of immunity for corruption. The, the parliamentarians should not be seen as abusing their legislative powers intended to use in public interest for their personal advantage. Nigerians are deserving of accountable government, and I suggest that the House of Representatives withdraw this bill. And concerning the beggars and people living with disabilities, that we might call them protesting against harassment. Begging or homelessness can be very complex, and some rough sleepers will refuse help when living on the street becomes a part of them. But finding people confiscating tents, harassing, and forcing people to move on from certain areas will do nothing to combat the core issues that cause begging and homelessness. It's high time we demand real solutions by our government. There is need now than ever before to use legislation to address and solve this problem once and for all. That's all for tonight, and thank you for staying with us. We'll return same time tomorrow. Have a good evening.